We want to provide some easy to follow instructions for you to set up your own tracking for landing pages that don't require breaking into full UTM parameter campaigns. They function under the same logic, but the setup and application of treating Google Analytics as a redirect tracker may be enough for the majority of you. It all comes down to being as simple as using a question mark when you enter a URL. Creating a query string. Any URL with a question mark in it is tracking something. What comes to the right of the question mark is called a query string. For this one, Twitter bio is the query string. You will also see it referred to as a URL parameter. You can set this to be anything you want, and it can be as long as you need it to be. For setting up this kind of redirect tracker, we think the shorter the better, but your needs will vary. Using your query string. Anywhere you want to track the incoming traffic from, put the query string on it. As you can see, the Twitter bio query string means that we're tracking the number of clicks from our Twitter bio to the landing page of our website. Normally, there's no way to differentiate the traffic that comes from Twitter's various locations. By specifying Twitter bio in your profile, that query string will then be recorded by Google Analytics so that you can see who made it to your page by clicking this specific link. Finding your query string in Google Analytics. Normally, clicking that Twitter bio link would be tracked as nothing special. However, when using your query string as a redirect tracker, you can dig into your user acquisition a bit more. First, you'll need to get into your Google Analytics account, then find the behavior tab in the left sidebar, expand it and select site content. And finally, click on landing pages. Next, scroll until you find the section labeled primary dimension and make sure that it's set to landing page. Then in the search bar just beneath that, type in the redirect query string that you're looking to track. If you simply put in a question mark, the results will return any and all landing pages that have been reached with a query string attached. And as usual, clicking into the query string gets you detailed graphs and information on just that particular item. And there you go. Now you know how to track landing page redirects with Google Analytics. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.